Hello and welcome to DTWG the prep welcome. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be taking you through polynomials and we're going to be look, looking at um, simplifying polynomials, adding and also subtracting polynomials. So I have uh, 11 questions here. You can see this is um, subtracting, this is adding polynomials and this four here is simplifying. Okay, why group them like this? Because you know there's a progression as I you know, start from number one, it progressed down and and to 11, okay? And after this, I would also do multiplication and division of polynomials, okay? So um, if this is your first time on this channel, please kindly click the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. Uh, share this video with your friends, family, loved ones, or in your groups um, or friends preparing for the GED test. You can also check out our website, uh, for summary notes on sciences, social studies, free summary notes, uh, study guides, free practice questions, the GED formula sheets, just go to this website, dtwgdprep.com. Okay, you can also join our Facebook group free of charge. We have over 22,000 members. Um, you know, you can ask about the GED test in whichever state you are in the US or in uh, any part of the world that you are trying to take. Um, the test in, be it in Thailand, be it in, uh, um, uh, uh, sorry, I'm trying to uh, pronounce, be it in Neyman, and uh, be it in Africa, South Africa, wherever it is you're trying to sit for the GED test, okay, you would find people in the group that would answer your questions, okay, and give you motivation, okay, resources of the group, okay, all the links are in the video description box of this video. Also, if you require one-on-one -on -one tutoring, I will leave my email in the video description box. You can contact me for your tutoring, maths, um, science, social studies, and your RLA. Okay, so let us get on to um, you know solving these questions now. Uh, please do make sure you watch the video simplifying algebraic expressions as it will make it easier for you to understand these polynomials. Now, now what's, what are polynomials? Uh, polynomials are usually um, have, they can have like two variables together with, with different powers. These are an example of a polynomial. So when you see this in your GED test, don't be scared. It's still the same um, logic or pattern you use in solving uh, algebraic expressions or just simply equations. Oh no, equations are different. We're coming to that, okay? That you use here. So you try to check for like terms and combine them. Like for this question number one, we can see here that we have a square b. So you're looking at the variables, all right, and checking their similarity with others here. So each, this is a term, this is a term, this is a term, this is a term. Okay, each term, their sign, always take their sign with them. Like this 7ab is a term and it is a negative. The sign in front of a term, that is what it carries. So this is a negative 7ab. This is a positive 3a square b. This is a negative 2ab. And here, since here, this if you don't see a sign in front of a number in a question, it's a positive. So this is a positive 5a square b. So now, we have to look for like terms and it all depends on their variables. Okay, the variables are the letters, all right, which is A and B, can be X, Y, Z. You can see there are several letters here. Any letter in the alphabet between A and Z can be used in your questions. Okay, so here we have A square B. You can see it is similar with this variable A square B. So we can combine these two. So we have 5 A square B plus, take the, the sign, plus 3a square b. Then this is also similar to this. So we have negative 2ab, negative 7ab. Then we can combine these two to become one. All right, so that's five plus three, that will give us eight, then take the variables down, a square b. Okay, you are not adding the variables, you are not adding the power. This is the same thing you would drop here. All right. Now, we have a negative 2ab, negative 7ab. So look at the numbers. So this is a negative 2, negative 7. Remember, when we have two negative numbers in our sign rule, we add, we add the numbers. So 
negative two, negative seven gives us a nine. And what sign will it take? It will take the sign of the bigger number, which is negative. So you have a negative nine, then drop your variable, which is what A, B. So we have simplified question one. Now let's go to question two. Question two says, 2x squared y minus xy plus 3x squared y minus 2xy. You can see this, they are looking the same. So we combine them, right? So we have two, group them together. So 2, 3x squared y. This guy and this guy also looks the same. So we combine them, group them together, 2xy. So now we combine. That's 2 plus 3, that's 5x squared y. Here, this is a negative xy, negative 2xy. Now, this xy means there's, a, there's an invisible one here. Okay, so we have a negative 1, negative 2. That will give us a 3. And what sign will it take to, sign, to take the negative sign? Okay, and which is xy. To take the sign of the bigger number, which is 2, and you drop your variable xy. We have simplified this. Now, look at this. All right, so here, I, we can easily do this together, right? So, um, I can just say this and this are the same. All right, so when we combine them, it gives us what? 6p squared q, and this and this guy are the same, right? So, we combine this a negative. 6p q, q and it's a negative 8q when you have a negative 6 negative 8 it gives us a 14 and it's going to take a negative sign which is so we have a negative 14 p q you can see we've gotten this the same here this and this is the same so we combine 3 plus this this gives us 8 m square n this and this is also the same so we have negative and a negative here. So when you have two negative numbers, what do you do? You add, so it gives us six, and we have a negative sign, M, N. All right? Okay, for instance, let's say if this number is a positive, okay, when you have a negative and positive, you subtract, all right? And it will give you a two. You to take the sign of the bigger number, which is what's positive. Anyway, we're gonna see, see some here. All right. Quickly do this. Okay. Now, look at number two. It says we should add this parenthesis and this parenthesis. Okay. Now, in front of this parenthesis, there's no sign here or there's nothing here. So it means we can open it up. So it becomes what? 2x plus 3y minus 4z plus 5. Now, look at this parenthesis. This second parenthesis, there's a sign here and the sign is positive. So it means we must open up by multiplying this sign. All right? It's like there's an invisible one here, okay? So we must do this plus one multiplied by this, or you can just say we must use this sign to multiply all everything in this parenthesis. Now, a positive times the x will give us a positive x. A positive times a negative two will give us a negative two y. A positive times a positive four will give us a positive four z. A positive times a negative three will give us a negative three. So from here now, we can combine like terms. Now, um, let's start with the X, okay? So we have X and X here, so we can combine this. This is two X plus X. Then with the Y, we have positive three Y, negative two Y. So we have positive three Y, negative two Y. Then we have the Z, is a negative four Z, positive four Z negative 4z, positive 4z. Then our constants will be the last, which is positive y, negative 3. So positive 5, negative 3. All right, so from here, we can add this to, there's an invisible one here. So 2x plus 1, that will give us 3x. 
here, this is a positive 3y minus 2y. Now, when you have a positive and a negative number, we subtract. When we subtract, we get a 1, right? So that's a 1y. One what would the sign take? It would take the sign of the bigger number, which is what positive. Here, we have a negative 4z, positive 4z. So it means we have to subtract. So a negative 4, subtracting a 4 from a 4 is 0. So this will be a 0. So we are going to have a 0 here. Then here we have a positive 5, negative 3. When we have a positive and a negative number, we do what? We subtract. So we subtract 3 from 5. It gives us what? A 2. What sign would 2 take? It would take the sign of the bigger number, which is positive. So we have it as our final answer here. Okay? So please, if you don't understand the sign rules, it's important. I would always mention it in algebra. It's important that you understand your sign rules when working with negative or positive integers. I have done several videos before this. Please do watch that video. Okay. Now, let's get on to question six. Now, this is question six. So, since there's nothing here, I will just open it up. So, we have 3ab plus 2c minus d minus 7. Now, here we have a positive. So, positive will multiply everything here. So, positive times 2ab, that's a positive 2ab. Positive times a negative c will give us what? A negative c. A positive times positive will give us a positive d. A positive times positive 7 give us a positive 7. So we can combine like them. This guy is the same as this. So we group them close to each other. This guy is the same as this. We group them close to each other. This guy is the same as this. We group them close to each other. Carrying their signs. Don't forget. Carrying their signs as we group them. This guy is also this, so that's a negative 7 plus 7. Now here, there's a 3ab plus 2ab. That will give us a 5ab. This is a positive 2a, uh, 2c minus c, which is like a 1 here. So positive 2 minus 1 will give us uh, a 1, and the sign will take positive. So that's 1c. Okay. We have a negative d, positive d. That's like a negative 1, positive 1. That's You are subtracting 1 from 1, which will give us a 0. So this will cancel out. Here also, a negative 7, positive 7. We're also subtracting. This will give us a 0. So we're left with this. And which will finally state as what? 5a, b plus c. You know, in your answer, you won't see 1. So you will see just c. Okay? So let's go to number 7. So since we, there's nothing here, I open it up. So m, 5m squared plus 3m n minus 2p minus 4. Here, there's a sign here. So positive times this, that's a positive 2m squared. Positive times this, that's a negative 3n. Positive times this, that's a positive 2p. Positive times this, that's a positive 4. So let's, you know, group like terms. So we have this and this. They are like terms. This m square, m square. So we have 5m square, positive 2m square. So this and this guy are the same. So we have a positive 3n, negative 3n. This guy and this guy, we have a negative 2p, positive 2p. This guy and this guy are the same. So we have a negative 4, positive 4. This plus this will give us a 7m square. You can see that this is positive 3, negative, uh, uh, positive 3n, negative 3n. That's we're going to subtract and it's going to give us a 0. So 3 minus 3 is a 0. The same thing here, 2 minus 2 is a 0. And here, 4 minus 4 is a 0. So our final answer here is 7m square. All right, so let's go to when we are subtracting in polynomials. Now, subtraction becomes very tricky. We have to be careful with our signs. Okay, so for number eight, since the first parenthesis, there's nothing here, 
we just open up, it gives us 2x squared plus 3x minus 4. Now, there's a negative here. So we do a negative times x squared, it gives us a negative x squared. We do a negative times negative 2x, it gives us a positive 2x. Remember our sign rules, negative times negative is a positive. Okay, positive times positive is also a positive. Negative times positive is a negative, and positive times negative is a negative also. Okay, when you have the same signs multiplying each other, it's a positive. When you have opposite signs multiplying each other, is a negative. So here we now have negative times a positive 4, it gives us a negative 4. So let us group like terms. This is similar with this guy. So we have 2x squared minus x square this is similar with this so we have plus 3x plus 2x and this is similar with this there are two constants numbers are constant in maths so we have negative 4 negative 4 so here this is this an invisible one here so that is positive 2 minus uh, 1 so that will be in we're subtracting so 2 minus 1 is a 1 and the sign will take positive since 2 is positive. So we have 1x squared. Here, this is positive 3x, positive 2x. So we're adding, so that will give us 5x. Here, this is negative 4, negative 4. We are going to add, and that will give us 8, and the sign will take negative. Okay, the sign, they are the same number, so it will take uh, negative. So our final answer here will be x squared plus 5x minus 8. Number 9. We open this up, so we have 5x, 5y squared plus 4y minus 3. Now there's some there's something here, so we 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 multiply. So that's a negative times 2y squared. That will be negative 2y squared. Then a negative times a negative y. That will give us a positive y, and a negative times positive 3. That will give us a negative 3. We come uh, group like terms. So we have this and this. So we have 5y squared minus 2y squared. And we have this and this. That's uh, positive 4y, positive y. And we have this and this. Finally, that's negative 3, negative 3. So this is 5y squared minus 2y squared will give us a 3y squared. And this plus this, that will give us what? A 5y, because there's a 1 here. Then negative 3, negative 3, we are going to add it's 6, and the sign will be a negative, the sign of the bigger number, okay? Now, question 9, 10. So, there's nothing here, so we drop. The parentheses, so we have 3a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now, we have a negative. Negative times this gives us a negative a squared. Negative times this gives us a positive 2ab. And negative times this gives us a negative b squared. So, we group like terms. So, we have 3a squared minus a squared. This and this, that's positive 2ab, positive 2ab. And this and this, that's positive b squared, negative b squared. So here, this is a 1 here, invisible 1. So that's 3a squared minus a squared. That gives us what? A 2a squared. You know, this is a bigger number. It's positive. You have to subtract and the sign will take positive. Okay, that's why I'm not putting the positive here. Okay, all right. But well, I can see drop that. Here we have positive 2ab, positive 2ab. That's we are going to add, so that will be a positive 4ab. And this is a positive b squared, negative b squared. This is like a 1 here, 1 here. So that's a positive, negative, a positive 1, negative 1, which will give us, that's your subtracting 1 from 1, which is a 0. So this would be a 0. Okay, our final answer here is 2a squared plus 4ab. Now, let's look at this. So, we can drop this. We have 7p cubed plus 5q squared minus 6p. We multiply this times this. That's a negative 3p cubed. This times this. That will be a positive 4q squared. This times this will give us a negative 2p. 
we can group this and this. So we have 7p cubed minus 3p cubed. Okay, we group this guy and this guy. We have a positive 5q squared and a positive 4q. All right, and finally, we group these two, okay, because they are similar. So, all right, we have uh, their common terms. So, we have minus 6p minus 2p. So, from here, 7p uh, cubed minus 3p cubed, what would that give us? That would give us, uh, we know by subtracting, that would give us a 4p cubed. And this is a positive 5q squared, positive 4q squared. We are adding, so that will be a positive, what, 9q squared. Okay? And here, this is a negative 6p, negative 2p. When we have the negative and negative sign numbers, we add. So we have 8p, and the sign, we take the sign of the bigger number, which is what, negative. So this is our final answer for question 11. All right, thank you. I hope you gain a lot. Thank you for staying till to the end of this video. Thank you, thank you so much. Please give this video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and also, um, you know, share this video with your friends, family, loved ones in your various groups um, that are preparing for the GED test. Also, you can check our website for several resources, summary notes on your social studies, science, free practice question, GED, www.dtwgdprep.com join our facebook group all links in the video descri description box of this video if you require one-on-one -on -one tutoring also contact me my email will be in the video description of this video all right thank you and um finally don't forget that jesus christ is coming soon give your life to christ for he's the way he's the truth and he's the life He's the one who's going to lead you to heaven at last and give you peace that passes all understanding. You know, he's going to provide that to you here, even while on earth. And most importantly, he will lead us home to heaven after all our achievements towards his kingdom. He's going to lead us to heaven at last. So please give him your life today. He's willing and able. To carry whichever burden, financial burdens, health burdens, relationship burdens, marital burdens that you're going through, he will pick it up from you. He said, cast all your burdens upon me and he will give you rest. That's what he's going to give you. So please give your life to Jesus Christ today and you'll be blessed. All right. Thank you. I wish you success in your JD test and also in life. You are destined to win.